Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page five, page five. And we have two flaps. These are both four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight. And they're gonna go left and right. I hope everybody's doing good. We got a little bit of a cool down today, but it's still nice here in San Diego. Um, and kind of a quiet morning. Hope everybody had a good Mother's Day. That was yesterday. I did. It was pretty quiet, but it was nice. Okay, now. Isn't this beautiful? I love this. This came from... Uh, I don't know. I don't know anymore if it came from the, it's definitely a 12 by 12. I don't know if it came from the patterns or the collection pack. I wound up cutting everything down and I've kind of lost track, but I believe it's from the patterns pack. And the reason I say that is because typically um, if it's not uh, from the patterns pack, it has uh, some other image, not just the background. So I think I'm right, but uh don't hold me to it. I don't know if there's an upside. I think this is upside, right side. I mean, <clears throat> I love this pattern. I could cover a box with this. It's so beautiful. <clears throat> well, that was weird. I cut something out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was falling off my desk, but... Nope, don't know what it was. Okay, so I've been down for a few days. Actually, a little bit, a little more than a few days. About 10 days, I fell, 10 days ago, I fell on my staircase. I um, it was kind of a calamity of errors. I had on a pair of loose fitting shoes. I have a staircase that turns. So at the turn, um, the outside of the stair is wide and the inside is narrow. And I misstepped one and uh, twisted my ankle and tore pretty much all of my exterior ligaments in my right foot. So I've been off my feet and not even able to craft because um, I've had to be horizontal, otherwise my foot was swelling beyond recognition. So I'm back. Um, after 10 days, I can sit up without my foot swelling um, to the size of a football, basically. This is from the 8x8, and again, this is from the 12x12. 12 12. So yeah, it's good to be back. Sorry for the, There's a. there was a big break. I was like going at this great guns and got the first four pages done, and then then I had to take a break because I, could, I couldn't sit with, even if I had my foot elevated under the desk, it wasn't enough. So I'm in a boot, probably be in a boot for a month. I, I did a real, a real number on it. Turns out you don't pop back after 60 like you did when you were a kid. So just dumb. And it's really weird because two days before that, my husband did the same thing on the same step. He misstepped, um, and it's because the step is so shallow. You know, you think you have a little more room for your foot. So it's like going to take one step down and going down two instead. And then my my shoes were loose fitting, so my my shoe my foot slid my shoe in addition to everything else. So whatever, um, I'll get over it. But it was it did kind of have me laid up for a little while. Okay, isn't this pretty? I just love this paper. Um, okay, so now we're going to do the covers, and this is from the 8x8. Eight eight. Again, this is from 8x8, eight eight. and so we're going to complete this um, wreath, and um, we're going to place this cut-apart right here in the middle, and on the cut-apart, I've already placed a magnet and covered the back of it, so it's going to go this way, so the uh, opposing magnet will appear here, which means we can dress this side, and then we will locate the magnet. <clears throat> Okay. 
There we go. And what is it? It's Monday today, right? The day after Mother's Day. So I'm hoping I have this done by Wednesday. I've got a couple more pages to crank out, and I don't know what's next. I'll have to check with Julie. I'll know before I finish the book. I just don't know what it is yet. It changes. It's a very dynamic thing. We've got a couple of other folks that are helping us try to get more content out. So it could be... Um, she could shuffle off some projects to other people before I finish this, so that's partly why I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just gonna eyeball this about center. It's a little difficult to do without this piece down yet. Okay, it looks a little bit off. I'm using my grid to sort of visually check my line. Looks pretty good. Okay, that means we're ready to go ahead and add this magnet. I'm going to put a sticky glue dot on the back of that. I've been trying this for a while. So I had been a big proponent of um, taping it down because the tape sort of creates a beveled edge. Um, so it's not so harsh and I still think that's the right answer if you're using light colored paper um, because it, uh, the, the edge uh, because it's a right angle on the edge really shows up oops um, through light colored paper like white so I'd still say tape over it um, that edge is just too harsh but if you've got a pattern I'm kind of liking this so I've only done it for this album so far, so we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, the one thing that's nice about this is I don't have that additional layer of tape that the magnet has to go through. So it's already got to go through this cardstock and this cardstock. And sometimes, in some cases, just because of the page design, it has to go through more than one layer of cardstock. And then that that uh, starts to be a concern. You know, how many layers can I get through? Uh, can I have before the magnets are no longer attracted to each other? So in this case, no, no big deal. It's really two sheets of cardstock, one on each side. But it's not always that way. Okay, there we go. So, oops, I glued down the wrong side, guys! <laughs> and I might be stuck with it. It was supposed to go this way. I'm going to let it dry and see what it looks like. It's supposed to be this whole um, wreath. And the other thing I can do is look and see if I've got another one in my pack. I can't remember if I used two or three packs of this. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my notes. Oh, that's so funny. I was so careful not to forget my magnet and then I can do that. I still like the way it looks, even if I ha with a half, but that was not the original intent. And no, I do not. So we will make it work with what we have. So again, this was supposed to be the second half. And if the glue marks don't show up too badly, I'm probably going to stick with my original plan to finish the um, the wreath. So that's A and B. I like both. We'll figure it out. Um, you're going to have to go to the walkthrough to figure out what I do because I'm going to call it quits for this video. <laughs> And again, this is page five. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Stephanie from Scrap and Create. I'll see you soon.